Welcome back for more adventure in my Underwater World video series here on the island of British Virgin Gorda. I'm Gretchen, your guide and photographer. And I snorkel with my husband Chuck here in clear water. It is very important that you learn to swim well. And always have a buddy along for safety. So put on your snorkel gear and let's go. Back in 1954, as a nine-year-old, I remember being scared out of my pants sitting in a movie called 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. It featured a giant monster squid that lived in the deep ocean and a submarine and crew that was caught in its tentacles. This was a very aggressive and scary creature. But this is the way squid look here. They are small and kind of cute. Octopus have also been portrayed as monsters in the movies. But again, much smaller ones live here along with the fish. But squid and octopus are not fish. They are in a family of creatures called mollusks. And they also go into a narrower category called cephalopods. Lots of study is going on in marine biology to learn and understand the intelligence and behavior of cephalopods. It is very easy to approach and photograph this small Caribbean squid. They often hang out in groups or schools called a squad. They do not flee as I slowly swim toward them. Standing its ground, you can almost see it thinking, sort of giving me a dirty look. Squid have very big expressive eyes and a large brain for its size. And in the front are eight arms with suckers. And fins project from the side of its body. Plus, it has two longer tentacles with suckers on the end to grab its prey. This photo shows the extended tentacles, plus a red, angry male squid defending the females of his territory. In a group lineup like this, squid appear to have a plan. This one raises its arms in warning reminding me of an elephant raising its trunk. Squid can turn beautiful colors. They like to congregate near rocks and under piers. And here by the buoy line. Male and female squid look alike. I snapped the mating, which was over in 10 seconds or so. Check out the tentacle and tiny suckers. Squid do not tolerate dirty water. So their presence is a signal of a clean body of water, which is good news. Okay, octopus don't stand still for photos. They like to hide and move fast and are bigger than these squid. I was photographing a beautiful coral head one day when I saw a quick movement right here. There was a dark thing flying out from under the front lip of the coral. 
and just as fast it changed color from muddy dark brown to the color of the coral on top. Standing up, looking right at me, protecting its territory. They have a large head and eight arms with suckers. But most of the time, these octopus in open water want to become invisible. This one is trying to look like the surrounding rocks, like it's putting on a coat of army camouflage. Can you see it? And because I'm still swimming on top, it quickly changes to the color of some nearby orange coral. One late afternoon when I was swimming back to the beach, I saw something that was very strange. I noticed lots of movement below me. Different kinds of fish were together, circling quickly in one spot. This was very unusual. As I looked closer, I could see my photo. There was something in the center of the group. And in one photo, I could even see an attack by a snapperfish. This reminded me of seeing a wolf pack circling its victim. What was going on? Suddenly there was a breakaway. Now I could clearly see an octopus making a run for it with the fish wolf pack in hot pursuit. In its distress, the octopus was emitting an ink discharge from the side of its head. Then a fish on the left put on a burst of speed looking to overtake and cut off the escaping octopus. I was spellbound, swimming after them, wondering what was going on. These fish, made up of different grouper and snapper fish, were cooperating to corner the octopus and not let it get away. They continued to hold it from going anywhere, working together in their effort. I watched for almost 10 minutes, all the while feeling sorry for the octopus. What was happening? What was the real story here? A storm was also moving in, so we had to get out of the water. I wanted to do some research, so I would know the reason for what I saw. And my study started to tell me what might be happening. You can research and find out too. Stay tuned. We can share what we both learn.